Welcome to the NatFL channel. Miami Dolphins head coach Brian Flores enters his third season as the lead man in South Florida touting a 15-17 record and has positioned the Dolphins admirably to make a gigantic leap out of mediocrity and potentially become an annual contender for the foreseeable future. After over a decade of being a run-of-the-mill franchise, Flores' work is a welcome breath of fresh air. Also most impressive is Flores' ability to do all of that while shedding some of the stereotypes about coaches coming off of the Bill Belichick coaching tree, many of which falter away from Foxborough. Flores' success will only truly be gauged once the team has a larger sample size, and postseason success is a must for him to live up to his potential as a coach. But the Dolphins' hire of Flores does appear to be outperforming the average former Patriots coach. And Flores has shed much of those stereotypes by putting his own mark on the team and being himself as a leader and a coach. But every so often, you'll get a peek at that Belichick Ian influence, such as the advice Flores offered a group of female coaches at the annual NFL Women's Careers in Football Forum. When asked for advice for any aspiring coach, Flores offered a brief but direct tidbit of advice to those in attendance. Early is on time, on time is late, and late is unacceptable. Dolphins coach Brian Flores, a longtime Patriots assistant, relaying words of author Eric Jerome Dickey at the NFL Women's Careers in Football Forum. A very Belichick Ian answer, indeed. But that discipline from Flores seems to resonate with many in the Dolphins building, as Flores has been able to turn the team culture in Miami on its head in just two years' time. The challenge will, of course, be outperforming the 2020 campaign. But if Flores and his staff and players live up to the simple advice he offered the NFL Women's Careers in Football Forum, you can be rest assured that the team will milk every possible minute available to them to get better for 2021.